Welcome to the Sports Card Talk Show. To the Sports Card Talk Show. Sports Card Talk Show with Kevin Anderson and Lauren Walker, the The Skull Skull Brothers. Brothers. (laughs) Welcome to episode 80 of the Sports Card Talk Show. Uh, We got Friday Night Lights interview tonight, and uh, this is kind of an interesting one. Uh, dude, who we got coming on, man. Dude, we're jumping into the future because we're going to Germany. Uh, <laughs> Frank from Vikings Car Germany is going to join us. We're going seven whole hours into the future with this <laughs> with this episode. So right, right, awesome, man. So uh, yeah, we've been talking with him and and uh, checking this stuff out for a while now. I feel he's like he got... commented a while ago on one of the videos. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. been uh, I'm wearing I'm wearing my Testament jersey cuz I think that our uh he called it a jersey but it's a sweatshirt, but anyway, uh he uh he's the one person that commented on my wardrobe, so <laughs> I'm already a big fan of Frank's. <laughs> he likes awesome. rock and he loves metal music. He's a Vikings fan. Yeah. I'm ready to I'm ready to ring him up, dude. Yeah, man, we got to dial him up. Let's do it. Ring ling ding dong. All right, we got Frank on the line at Vikings Car Germany. Uh, thanks for joining us. Hey, Frank. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, glad you were able to um, to come on the show. Uh, we weren't sure how it would work, but uh, everything seems to be working good, so this will be fun. Yeah. Uh, when... Uh, when did you get interested in the NFL? Um, I really watch NFL active, uh, three seasons now. Um, before that, it was a little bit difficult, um, to, to track all this stuff down because you can't watch it really. And, you know, but, uh, first I get interested and think, it's cool it was when, when I was a child, but there was no option to watch games or something, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, um what when you say that when you were a child, were you like how how big was NFL Europe back in the nineties? Do you remember NFL Europe? Yeah, I, I remember, but uh I think I was uh too small to, to check all that what's uh, going down there. Um, I think there was two two teams or something in Germany that has a good audience, um, big fan base. Yeah. What was it? Like um, Frankfurt and Berlin. Berlin. Were those? A- no, I, I think I think it was uh, Rhein Fire from uh, Düsseldorf. Oh, okay, yeah, and, yeah. And, and and for sure Frankfurt. Yeah. Okay, Frankfurt and Rhein. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Now that you said Ryan, I, I would have assumed Berlin would have had a team, but but it wasn't Berlin. Right. Uh, I I just uh, I threw this out at you uh, earlier and you already answered, but I'm a little surprised. I was a little surprised at your answer. Uh, are you a soccer fan? I was when I was a small child, but uh, not now. Okay. <laughs> I lost. I lost. I lost all interest in that because it's it's all about money. It's a team who can pump in most money, uh, win championships, and yeah. Oh, okay. That's yeah. that's soccer in uh, Germany and uh, in Europe. So money destroys many things. Many okay. things there. Don't you guys don't have a salary cap? Is what you're trying to say then? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is that is a problem. Yeah. If if you if you if you win. Uh, you you get more money. You can buy better players, and yeah, you're always on the top. Yeah, and it's it's hard for another team that comes from uh, below uh, to get on the top because the teams have more money and yeah, better players. Sure. Now we were discussing. And, uh, we were discussing. Uh, you said that there's. Did you say there was two leagues in Germany for the for football? Like. Uh, American football in Germany? Yeah, ba- basically it's uh, one league, uh, but it is divided in, in North and in South Germany, yeah? Okay. Oh, okay. And, uh, and in the end of the season, uh, with playoffs, they play a uh, uh, German Bowl. Uh, it's Super Bowl from Germany. Oh, okay. okay. It's called the German Bowl? Is that what you it's said? It's called German Bowl. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice. Awesome. What's the name of the German league? 
this is a uh, German football league. German uh, football GFL. League? GFL. Oh, okay. Okay, GFL. Nice. nice. <laughs> But but but, uh, but there are some difference because uh, the the bad team uh, on on top don't get the first draft pick because there is isn't a draft yeah uh, you can drop in, into a German football league division two oh okay oh wow the so... teams from from two can come to the first division oh cool so that so... Is, yeah that is <laughs> that's different yeah so if you're really bad you get like demoted to the b league <laughs> is that what you're saying like, like, like in soccer oh okay Last team go down and uh from the second league uh top team can go up oh okay that's different so that is a, that is a really big difference yeah how many teams are in that league the the north germany south germany leagues it's uh, two times eight teams, uh, so 16. 16? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's quite a few. And now now you live in, how do you pronounce that, Braunschweig? Braunschweig. Braunschweig. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm so glad that you can speak English because I cannot speak German. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, we have we have, uh, we have a good team here in this town. I am, I think uh, GFL exists uh, exists uh, forty years now, oh, and wow. Braunschweig uh, was champion twelve times, I think. Oh wow! Wow, that's really good. So, so they've been around for quite a while. So it must be have quite uh, must be quite popular in in Germany. The German football in league. My, my, uh, in my in my town in my town, yes, there are a few teams uh, like uh, Frankfurt or uh, Braunschweig or I think Schwäbisch Hall Unicorns um, have a good fan base. I think they play in front of four to five thousand people. I think uh, in the league around thousand five hundred people in the audience that watch live in the stadiums. Oh, nice. Do they, so do, it's not that. Important. Do they broadcast these games on on German television then too? No, but uh, you can watch many streams on YouTube uh, live streams. Okay. So ma many teams uh, give that option that uh, you can watch these teams on YouTube uh, live. Uh, how how is uh, American football faring in the rest of Europe? Do you do you know? I don't know exact, um, but uh, I know some other countries have leagues too. Okay. But I don't know how strong they are. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's not that professional like in in the USA. Yeah, I think only few ta a few players, uh, the, the the best players, got paid for that job. The rest is a hobby and fun. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it's. It's not that professional that they get millions of uh, euros <laughs> or something. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Do, do uh, does German do the German teams play outside of Germany? Like play teams from other countries ever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there is a European Bowl, a Euro Bowl. It called. Yeah, it's uh, it's like um, yeah, Champions League. Okay. Oh, okay. In soccer, yeah. So uh, top teams from from a league play against uh, top teams from other countries, and then they play for a champion. So that exists, yeah. The Euro, the Euro Championship, then kind of. Yep. Does, Ger does Germany always win that? Many times. Many times. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> now, what's the most popular team in Germany? Uh, from, uh, from, 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 or? from Germany, from, is it in your own German football league? Who, what's the most popular? I, I, I think it's uh, Frankfurt, uh, because, uh, after NFL Europe, the team was dead. Yeah. Mm. And fans starting to building up the team again. And, uh, you know, Mm -hmm. with, with a big fan base behind that, yeah, they, they built their own team, yeah, yeah, oh, wow. and now German Football League uh, first division, yeah. So I think that that's uh, the most uh, popular team here. Okay, 
What's the most NFL? What's the most popular NFL team in in Europe? Oh, I think it's uh, Seahawks are very popular. Uh, Green Bay and Patriots. I think that's the top three. And if you go to a top 10, uh, 49ers and uh, Vikings are in top 10, definitely. <laughs> nice. Now, I'll let Kevin ask a few questions. I'm kind <laughs> no, of hopping. go ahead. Yeah, you got, you got oh, it. Okay. Um, you're wearing a Vikings hat. You're a Vikings fan. What, what caused you to be a Vikings fan? Oh, when I was to try it, my mother has a, a rain jacket in, in purple with a with the Viking on back. Oh, okay. And uh, as a kid, I, I I like this jacket from my mother. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Vikings are cool. And uh, yeah, when I got interested, I remember yeah there was Vikings. Uh, yeah, Vikings are nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that was my choice, and I love uh, purple. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, I I was wondering if you said like three years. So, uh, how were excited were you when uh, Maritz Bowringer was drafted by the Vikings? Uh, you you don't uh, spell him right. It's uh, Bowringer, you mean, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I, I, I feel like Americans pronounce it Bowringer. So, but say say, say that again. It, it, it's uh, it's it's uh, uh, the with the dots on top, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. He, he was. I, I think he was the first player that uh, are allowed to use this letter on his jersey. Oh, oh and, okay. And jer- like he actually put his name on the back of his jersey. You mean? Yeah. Right. Spelled. Spelled right. And oh, okay. With the two dots on okay, yeah. above the O. Oh, okay. First player allowed to do it in the NFL. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. <laughs> cool yeah if, if you if you follow um german media and uh that stuff uh you you always know where the uh, german guys uh, in, in what teams they are and uh, they, they talk a lot about that about the german players so same same was with uh, Böhringer. there was a, a big hype because yeah 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 he, i know he the guy from germany without college yeah uh and he tried it. Yep. We got we got and the understanding got, that he was like the Randy Moss in in Germany. <laughs> yeah, he had uh, one or two good seasons. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when did you um, start collecting sports cards? Oh, it was uh, December two thousand eighteen. Oh, okay. Okay, Not so that was like like two years ago. Yeah. Oh, one year and a few months. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, sure. okay. Yeah, one yeah. One year and a few months. Yep, yep. Cool. How how did you start collecting cards? Were there cards available in Germany for you to buy? Yeah, there was uh, a few online shops that sell hobby boxes. Hobby box set, uh, box sets, yeah. Uh, but I didn't buy because uh, I think, oh, that's really expensive, yeah. Yeah. And then I searched on youtube uh and then i found out that break stuff oh, oh okay yeah yeah it's, it's, yeah and um yeah in that season uh vikings was a really cheap team for like um 19 bucks most times yeah? yeah and then i said okay let's try it uh and see what i can get and um yeah that was the start <laughs> <laughs> okay oh that's fun yeah, that year would have been. Uh, what year was that? Was that Mike Hughes' rookie card, rookie year? Mike Hughes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I don't think the Vikings had very many, uh, very many guys in the card sets that year. Mike Hughes, Jalen Holmes. I, I I waited ages to hit an uh, autograph. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> we can we can flip it over, Cap. Well. Yeah, okay. So it would be Well actually, um can you buy cards in in Germany now? Yeah. Um Panini Germany made it possible. Um that uh, there, 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 there's a kind of shops in Germany. It called uh, Müller Drogeriemarkt. I think it's uh drugstores in, in the US. Oh okay. okay. That's what I was buy- wondering, yeah. Yeah, uh, where you can buy cosmetics and that stuff, yeah? Yep. Yeah. And they also sell 
they they also sell toys. Oh, okay. Um, and it, yeah, where, where the toys are, you can uh, get uh, Donruss uh, Fat Packs. That was the first packs you can buy in every store here. Oh, cool. <laughs> so nice. Make, Many new guys started with that because uh, they can go to a store, can buy a, a pack for like uh, six euro or what they cost, yeah? yeah. And yeah, they had cards, and many guys started that way last year. Oh, that's cool. really crazy. It's it's really going strong that community. Oh, cool, cool. That was actually going to be my next question: was is the popularity of the hobby growing in Germany? And you just you yeah. just kind of answered yeah, that did. question. Yeah. So a lot of people are like yeah, going to. Buying out the drugstores, the cards? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the biggest Facebook group has uh, nearly 1,000 members now for trading for Germans. Oh, so nice. It's, it's not that small, yeah? Yeah. And uh, there come new guys every day, and uh, I help many guys to get into it, show here uh, what, what exists, what you can collect, where you can get this stuff, yeah? So... Um, there are there are many guys I helped starting go into the hobby. Oh, that's awesome! That's I, I, really cool. I know that I watched one of your uh, videos, and um, you know you're speaking German in it, so I don't understand what you're saying. But yeah, by yeah, the I, video, I kind yeah, of I, 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 made, I, I made these videos in German uh, to help German guys. Yeah, get yeah. A little overview what what exists. Uh, most guys think, uh, yeah, there is one product, uh, they collect cards one, two, three hundred, and then they have oil, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's much deeper what you can get and collect. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, I, I that, just that, 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 I, that, I, that I try to show with uh, that videos. So no. if, if a new guy come, yeah, I say, hey, watch this video, and then uh, he see how big the thing is yeah yeah no i i the one video that I, that i found really interesting is and like i said i don't speak german but I'm, i can kind of understand from your video and also from a little conversation from you that you can have a com uh check out my cards com c account and you can buy cards on that account and then have them all shipped to you and only like charge one one uh one that, that, that is that is one option the comsi comsi mailbox yeah yeah so uh, mailbox yeah that's cool yeah yeah i found that really interesting that uh you know that's that's a way for you to buy football cards fr from america and be able to get them sent to you a heck of a lot cheaper which is really cool yeah yeah comsi is really great because uh if you order on comsi uh shipping is only uh five uh bucks to germany that's really cheap yeah yeah yeah, yeah really cheap one card yeah, to yeah. Ger car one card to germany probably costs five bucks to send <laughs> and uh, you can get a whole shipment yeah. of cards sent <laughs> from comsi comsi I, I love comsi so and there's a me too me too yeah yeah <laughs> Found another fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. But uh, but uh, for mailbox there are other services uh, which has a little bit lower fee uh, because the fees for the mailbox service are really high on Comsi. So it's okay when you get started. Uh, you have the opportunity uh, to use eBay, yeah. Uh -huh. But if you have higher premium, you uh, you buy. Uh, there are other better options uh, where you can get better price for. All that stuff. Okay. Oh, okay. So now, it's, it's not only Comsi mailbox, but it's uh, good to start uh, if you only want a few cards. But if you want um, a lot of cards, <laughs> there are better <laughs> options. Okay. Now, um, from from your Instagram page, uh, is Irv Smith your biggest PC then? Personal yeah, collection. It is, <laughs> is he your favorite Viking, or is there another Viking you like better? Oh, I don't know. I like I like many Vikings. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's like uh, trying to pick out your favorite child. <laughs> oh yeah. I I love all the Vikings. Like someone asked me, "Who's your favorite Viking?" I'm like, I can't. That's too hard of a question to answer, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I I start I, I started to collect him because uh, in uh, Legacy I got a nice card with a, with a really nice patch from a, 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 a ball patch, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, wow, that's so cool. And I had so luck with this player on this on this break, yeah. And uh, I mean, Titans are not that expensive. That is another good thing uh -huh. to collect, yeah. Yeah. So I I picked on him. Cool, cool, awesome. Uh, I know through our conversation we didn't get to it, but yeah, we when we were talking, I'm not even gonna try to try to say his name again, but I'm just gonna say Maritz. When we were talking about Moritz, uh, you you had mentioned uh, another German player that's playing in America. Do you want to talk about him a little bit? Uh, you mean Björn Werner? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's 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 very popular here. I mean, he don't play anymore, but uh, he is in, in German television. Oh, so, okay. Uh, he, he's comment he, he, he's commentator for football games and television. So. Because of that, many guys collect him. So if you have any Björn Werner cards, sell them to the Germans. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> oh, that's fun. I think he actually had more of an NFL career than than Maritz did. Yeah. 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 Awesome. I mean, I mean, you must know here in Germany there are every Sunday two games in free TV you can watch. Oh, okay. Every every Sunday. So. Every Sunday, you have you have a, 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 the, the, the early and, the, and and from the next game it's um, seven p.m. and uh, ten p.m. here for us, yeah. Okay. So you have two games you can watch in free TV here in Germany. So that's that creates many new fans that go interested in uh, the NFL because they they can watch it in free TV uh, without spending money for uh, other services. You uh -huh. can watch, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that that's more, uh, to uh, and uh, all playoffs and uh, Super Bowl are also uh, in free TV here in Germany. Okay. Oh, so everyone can. Yeah. Do you guys have your own broadcasters then? Do you have German broadcasters broadcasting the games then? Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's... So uh, Björn Werner is one of them. Okay. Yeah, that, that's why his cards are. Uh, Say, say, say good here in Germany. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Good so, to know. So we'll have to like uh, uh, hook you up with some uh, uh, Bjorn's cards, and then you can uh, use them as trade trade bait over there in Germany. <laughs> oh, I, I, I bought so many cheap uh, from Comsi and sell them here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the way to do it. Yeah, awesome. Oh man. Was there anything else you want to talk about there, Frank? I think we got all points now, yeah? Yeah, I think uh, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we like to just uh, close out the show with uh, three quick questions that are not football related. So, uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so you want to go? Sure. So what is your favorite food? Uh, everything that is vegan. Okay. Okay. You're vegan, huh? I, 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 don't, I don't eat meat, yeah? <laughs> so, okay. okay. My All kid right. my kid was doing that for a, quite a while, and uh, that cuts a lot of stuff out of your diet, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> when you're not, like, eating... No, no, there's, there's, like, there's too many good stuff out there, so that's, that's no problem. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go with the second one? Sure, sure. Um, favorite movie? Uh, I don't know. Big Lebowski. Oh, oh okay. okay. Nice. I was gonna, I was <laughs> actually think I know that, uh, like, you know, with Netflix and stuff, you can watch like different, different, uh, like you can watch stuff from all over the world. And I like, won't watch something that I have to read subtitles. So I know that Germans are making their own stuff. I know like every country is making their own stuff, but, uh, I was like expecting you to like throw some German movie we'd never heard of. <laughs> but you like yeah, the G German uh, not really good. <laughs> okay. Okay. So most, um, most, most, most most movies here in Germany are from Hollywood. So <laughs> okay. 
Um, so my last, the last question is like in American movies, like Germans are a lot, a lot of times portrayed as the villain in movies. How are Americans portrayed in German movies? That is a really different, uh, difficult question because there are not so many good German movies out there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where Americans are in. Mm, um, okay. No, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So most time, yeah, I think the image is, uh, yeah, with, with bubble gum and yeah, that stuff. <laughs> kind of, we're, sure. so we're kind of like, Dumb and poppy. <laughs> okay. Oh, fun. Yeah, like like most of, like a lot of times you see Germans and they're like the villains in some espionage movie or war movie, yeah, you know. Yeah. All, all, all the bad guys. Yeah. Yeah, in America, and I think it's funny that you guys portray us as probably uh, as stupid. I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun. <laughs> Probably isn't far off base. <laughs> <laughs> well, Frank, we really appreciate you coming on. And uh, and we'll bring the episode to a close. If you want to hang on the phone for one second, uh, we'll talk to you for another minute here off camera. But that'll bring episode 80, Friday Night Lights interview with Frank at Vikings Car Germany on Instagram. Check him out. Awesome page. Awesome guy. Skull Brothers out.